Good morning children. Today we will learn jumbled sentences. Rearrangement of jumbled sentences. Student is given 3 to 4 words to form a sentence. Given words should be arranged properly to form a meaningful sentence. Important tips to arrange jumbled sentences. Read the jumbled word given. Make sure you read each word. Always look for the capital letter to start the sentence. For the beginners, the first letter will be given as capital. Then look at the picture given and find that word in the jumble sentence. Look at the picture and imagine what can happen. Make up. Remember three points, children, while writing jumbled words, read capital letters, see the picture and end with the full stop. Let's start with an example. Matt, a cat, is on the. These are words, but when we have put them together, they are just not making sense. Do you agree with me? Now let's read these words again. A cat is on the mat. The same set of words but this time when we have put it in the correct order it is making sense. Children did you see the example? How to rearrange the jumbled words to make it meaningful sentence isn't it? So shall we do now exercise in the practice book? Page number 23 Lesson chin to and the chicks. What is the question? Rearrange the jumbled words to make correct sentences. Before you have learned how to rearrange the jumbled letters to make a correct word. Isn't it? So today you will learn how to rearrange the jumbled words. Can you see here there are few jumbled words? So we have to make a meaningful sentence. We have to rearrange though these all jumbled words given here. First three points you have to remember. First, you have to read the capital letter. We have to see the word which starts with capital letter. As we all know, first letter should start with capital letter and the Sentence should be end with the full stop. We have to look at the picture also. Whatever the picture is given. And we have to complete the sentence and make the sense of the sentence. Isn't it children? Now first one. Can you see here there are few jumbled words. This makes a meaningful sentence, children. Is this? No. Shall I read? Rich is Chirag a boy. Is this, is this a correct sentence? No, children. So what shall we do now? Can you see here a picture? A boy name Chirag. He is a rich boy. Can you see here there is a big building. Beautiful car. Isn't it? So, so first word will be Chirag. Why? Because there is a capital letter. The name of the boy is Chirag. So first you write C H I R A G Chirag Next what word shall we write is Chirag is a next a rich R I C H rich rich boy Last word is boy Children, you have to write in cursive handwriting and spell the word while writing. And what shall we end with the sentence with? 
full stop can you see the dot don't forget children first letter should be capital letter next according to the picture we have to complete the sentence rearrange the jumbled words and the sentence should be end with the capital letter next next uh, sentence the happy is child children where is the capital letter first word is already starting with capital letter so there is no change the happy is child is this the correct sentence no then what is the correct sentence how to rearrange these jumbled words what will be the next word children child c h i l d child next is very good last word happy now this sentence makes a sense it is a meaningful sentence it is correct next we should end with the full stop children next one more example i want to show you please see carefully children pan hot the first capital letter is the so that would be the starting of the sentence now the picture shows a pan so the pan and what does the pan shows let's imagine yes it's showing that it's hot so the pan is hot and when you put the full stop it completes the sentence the pan is hot so children shall we come back to our next sentence a hen chicks has five here there are few jumbled words can you see the picture here there are five chicks and a hen so where is the capital letter read the capital letter a so first word will be a next what is the next word children to make a correct sentence a hen h e n hen hen next word has a hen has how many chicks five chicks so next word a five b e five next word will be chicks next you should end with the full stop dot next sentence the on sits boy chair the there are so many jumbled words children in this sentence so first where is the capital letter the t h e the this is not a correct sentence so we have to rearrange these jumbled words next word can you guess children the here you can see there is a chair who sits on the chair boy so we should write the boy sits next word sits s i t s sits on a on children when you are whenever you are writing sentence we have to see what is the what is there in the sentence actually we have to think imagine then you can complete the sentence on the chair or if they if any picture is given you can look into the picture and complete the sentence the boy sits on the table or chair chair so write c h a i r chair so the word the sentence should be end with the full stop see here can you see the dot so in this way you try to complete this two sentences by your own children try to complete i think you understood how to rearrange these jumbled words okay children 
today next you open your english class for book put today's date write heading fill in the blanks today you have to write fill in the blanks children as you already wrote in the textbook today we have to write in the class for book first chin 2 i will show children how to write chin 2 c h i n t u chin 2 is a rich r i c h rich boy so what is the answer children rich so can you see here a dash you have to draw it underline this is the answer fill in the blanks so next sentence see children how i am writing you have to write in the same way next chin to c h i n t u chin to has h a s has five f five v e five chintu has five ch children what what the uh, chintu has have has chicks so what is answer c h i c k s chicks so this is the answer chintu has five chicks next there are few more sentences children just i'm showing example how to complete the sentences i will send you the pick of this children in this way you try to complete all the fill in the blanks in the class workbook neatly in cursive handwriting children you have to spell the word while writing the sentence and end the word sentence with the full stop underline the answers fill in the blanks first letter should be capital letter follow all the children and today you have to complete practice book also jumbled sentences i think you understood please practice children one more time in rough notes also thank you children have a good day